Okay, here we go. Let's roll on, roll on crude. Let's get right to the point, make this a short video. That way Gerald can render this thing and get it out to you guys and gals. All right, the first chart you want to look at, guys and gals, is the trend chart. Okay, this, this is a chart based upon the overall trend of the market. And like I said, this is all the volume coming in the market, all the algorithms, all the high-frequency traders, all the hedge funds, prop firms, banks, clear across the board. So what we want to do is we want to see what the trend of the market is and buy pullbacks in the market. We do not want to counter-trend trade the market. We know that counter-trend traders lose over and over again. They're not educated enough to buy pullbacks with trend. Okay, they trade lagging indicators. So we can prey on the counter-trend traders. We can prey on the wrongly positioned traders. We want wrongly positioned traders in the market to create order flow for us. So how do we do it? I have moving averages on the trend chart, and this trend chart tells me there's three moving averages. Moving averages, like I said, everybody knows this, are worthless by nature. Can't buy them for support and resistance. Can't use them for crossover systems. They're lagging. Great for trend direction if you have a trend chart. I have a Rinko bar here. This is not a standard Rinko bar because unlike this, I believe I'm the only Rinko bar in the entire world that has actually a major trend filter built into the Rinko bar. We actually programmed this and built it to our server where that's the unique thing about this whole Rinko bar. It separates itself from all the other vendors and uh, uh, different software programs out there because it keeps, your, keeps you on the right side of the market. So how do we know that we're buyers or sellers in the market? Here's an easy way to get in. And all futures, stocks, Forex, like I said, you can even trade the OEX options with this, whatever you want to do. If you get the trend right, you're 50% there. And then I'll show you how we get into the exact bar. So what we want to do, we want to see where the trend is. So I have a smaller MA on the trend chart. And this is plug and play on our templates, any market. So what you want to do is I look at the open versus close of the candle. I don't look at the wicks. The highs and lows are irrelevant to me. I think those are for amateur traders. Let them worry about the highs and lows. I'm worried about the open versus close. Professional traders with experience like myself that's been in these markets since the late 80s, early 90s, we know open versus close is a key to success. So we want to know that what the body of the candle is, not the highs and lows of the wicks. The best way to do it, when you get a 90% candle close, here the arrows, where the arrows are, this started the whole trend up in crude. You see a 90% of the body of the candle close above my small MA. It doesn't have to close above all three, but once you do get above all three, you're in the hottest situation possible. The temperature is very hot in the market. So we know that we're in an uptrend. Now if I look from 4.45 this morning when it started its uptrend, we've been in an uptrend ever since then. I've never had a 90% body of the candle close below my small MA. And we're above all three MAs, which is even stronger. So that tells me one thing. It tells me that I want to buy the retracement, and I do not, no matter what, take any counter-trend trades or sell or short the market. If I short the market or go against that overall trend, then I know that I am wrongly positioning myself in the market, and I deserve to get stopped out. In other words, if you go against my trend filter, you deserve to get stopped out because you are totally going against the tape and fighting against the overall market trend because this it has a filter built into the Rinko bar that will allow you to get on the right side of the market and that is key to success with my system is that you must watch the trend filter so the trend filter was up but that's not enough how do we get into the markets with the trend filter to the exact bar with low risk if I the first red bar that prints tells me that I'm, I have a lot of wrongly positioned traders. I got counter trend traders coming in the market. So if that tells me that I got wrongly positioned traders in the market, I want to start looking for a buy pullback. Now, I don't like to look for a here's your red bar reversal, then the green, and then here's your green bar reversal. The green bar reversal, your stop would be too big waiting for the green bar to reverse right here. Stop's way too big. You caught the counter trend traders. You got the red bar candle. Red bar candle, red bar candle, counter trend traders. We're looking for a reversal. So you could easily just take the green bar right here and, and get a continuation. But your stop's going to be too big. You don't want a 20 tick stop. So what I want to do then, after I get the red bar that reverses against the trend filter, I want to look at my Fibonacci arrows. These are automated Fib arrows that pop up. And I want to know exactly what arrow to buy or what arrow to sell to the exact bar. I want to pinpoint to the exact arrow way before it happens. I'm talking 15 minutes, 20 minutes, half hour heads up. 
I don't want this lagging indicator with moving average crossovers or divergence or the MAC or there's all this baloney out there. I want to see what is the heads up on where I want to look for retracements. As soon as this red bar printed on my trend chart, it told me, get ready for a trade. That bar closed. It told me, as a trader, I'm going against the trend filter. The counter trend traders are going against the trend filter. I want to get ready to post a trade. Look for a trade right there, right when that bar closed. Look at my Rinko bar over here then. What I want to do is I want to look at my arrows. At that time, we are sitting right here. At the bar closed red right there. So look how it matches up. Now let me show you how this works. I want to look for a Fibonacci retracement now, and I want to try to get long the market. So what I want to do is I want to wait for red, 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 red. The easy way to do it, look where your symmetry dots are. I do have symmetry dots as a, as a, a separate one-time license fee for, the, for your life. Um, but they by themselves are worthless. You don't know which one to take. So with this trend chart, now with my arrows, you know exactly which symmetry dots to create support and resistance, and you know exactly which arrow to take. So once you get a red bar reversal, you're looking for a what? To come within two ticks of my symmetry dots down here. That's support. It can break an inch or bar. Remember, we don't care about the wicks. We care about the body of the candles. As long as it doesn't close, a whole body candle close below my symmetry dots. I'm looking for an arrow to fire. There's my arrow. Once that arrow fires, it tells me I'm in the optimal position to get along the market because that is a Fibonacci retracement. If any of you are, uh, looked at any of my earlier work, when we first opened the room, I had blue and red dots on what's called J-signal. This is essentially J-signal, and it's, it's pinpointing the top J signal instead of multiple dots, I pinpoint it to the exact arrow when to get in. So now the arrow is right there. It tells you when to pop in the trade to the exact arrow. Once that arrow closes, that bar closes, you want to look for negative market delta to confirm below you. It'll just turn a red or green bar. You want a green bar below you. Once it confirms that you are green with an order imbalance, then you know to get long. Your stop loss will be two ticks below that swing low. There's your stop loss. Your target can be Symmetry dots here to scale, and symmetry dots here to scale. So in that last trade, just a nice big move up. Now, let's say you missed that trade. Let's go to the next one. Green bar, green bar, green bar, green bar. Look at our trend chart. First red bar that comes in again. What does that tell me? It tells me that I'm catching the wrongly positioned traders again. Now I got the counter trend traders again. So now that I got the counter trend traders again, what do I want to do? I want to pop in the trade again. I want to pop in the trade and see these counter trend traders get smoked again, and I want to look for what? I want to look for the market to come and re retrace, come down within two ticks. It can exceed my symmetry dots, just not close a candle below it, and I want the arrow to fire. What do we get? The automated arrow fired again. Right there it is. There's your entry after the bar closes. Your stop loss is two ticks below the swing low. There you go. There's your scale point on symmetry dots, and we'll try to get to the next set of symmetry dots. So that's two for two based upon waiting for the red bar to reverse to show me when counter trend traders are coming in. Now, what if there's no red bar reversal? Let's say the market's way too strong. Let's say the market's just screaming up. That's okay because I'm smarter than my trading opponents. I know that I just don't have to take deep retracements. I can take shallow retracements from a break retest. So what I want to do is this. Let's say, look, look over here. Here's my trend filter that turned up, right? And look how green bar, green bar right here. Green bar, green bar, green bar. As this bar right here, this bar right here, as this bar, as this bar right here, tick, 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 ticks, back down and touches my small MA. If it touches my small MA, I want to look for a arrow to fire on my 3SIM or my 5SIM Renko. Because I am not, I don't have a red bar reversal, but I got a momentum setup. The easy way to see it, and I teach traders this all the time, is called a break retest on the opposite side of symmetry. Very easy to see. You'll break through the opposite side of symmetry when the market's screaming up. You'll retest symmetry, and you'll get the arrow to fire. Look how gorgeous it stopped to the exact tick on my symmetry dots. If that isn't beautiful or what, I do not know what is. Look at that. Boom. There's your arrow that fired. There's your exact bar. So this is a momentum setup because I do not have a red bar reversal on my trend indicator, my trend filter. I got all green bars. So what I want to do is I want to see 
when I have entries. Now my arrows fired at two spots this morning. It fired here for a successful, successful trade and it fired here. So my system right now is one, two for two on momentum trades and two for two on retracement trades. It is four for four since 4.45 this morning. And that's how you trade the markets. You pinpoint exactly when you want to buy and sell the markets based upon counter trend traders. Let's take a look at gold this morning. I'll show you gold. Very simple setup, not hard. Right here, the trend filter started out at, right here started our trend up. So if you're a gold trader this morning, the trend started right there, 90% candle close. Since about 440, 440, 440, or 440, 440 or 445 this morning, if you've taken any shorts on gold, you're wrong. You deserve to get stopped out because you're what? You're thinking you're smarter than the market and you're going against the overall trend of the market. Remember, my trend filter will not allow us to not miss any big trend trades because the filter is very sensitive. I have a very sensitive filter built into the trend filter. and It's a longer Renko bar. So we know that if we follow the trend filter, it's going to put us on the right side of the market, we just got to look to buy retracements in. So let's look where the counter trend traders came in. Counter trend traders came in here this morning on gold. There's your counter trend traders. And what happened was we're looking for a pullback. And we're looking for a pullback to symmetry dots. This low right here at 1229. Did it fall right on my symmetry dots? You know it. Caught the exact low right there. There's my low. And we had a positive market delta to drive us up. Scale at symmetry, scale at symmetry. And that trade right there was 1230 all the way to 1234, a $400 potential trade with a $120 risk. Almost a four to one reward to risk ratio again using the exact same setup. Remember, you just need to cookie cut these same setups. Either it's a momentum trade where we're screaming up, right? Or it's a retracement trade where you catch the wrongly positioned traders. And that's all it is works on all markets.